So, if you remember the flood video I uploaded a couple of months ago, yeah, well, I attempted to one-up that by basically creating a huge tornado event on my server. Something you've probably never seen before, especially in Rust. Now, it's thanks to this guy, Wavy, for creating the plugin that I was able to put this all together, and I think it turned out awesome. Oh, and this video was recorded on my 5x server, and if you'd like to try out my new 10x server, which currently has a $100 once a month weekly challenge going on, here's the info to join either server server on screen. You can also check out the description to copy and paste the client.connect into the F1 console, or you can just search up CND Blood under the modded section to find them. Alright, so I'm on the 5x and I'm about to do the biggest event I have ever done. And I'm very excited about it, but also very scared because this one it's a pretty risky one. There might be some things that could go wrong, but hopefully I did everything right. Hopefully everything is well configured and things will go smoothly. Now, I just made it so that daytime would go by very quickly so no one would notice that I changed the day and it is going to be nighttime for 20 minutes, which is how long this event will last. So uh, in just a few moments here, I'm going to go ahead and add the plugin, which will start uh, the whole event and uh, we'll get started. I'm so nervous for this. I am not gonna lie, I accidentally just loaded the Ocean Flood plugin that I did a while ago. That could have been bad. I almost flooded my server again, but I just did it again and here it starts. So the first thing players will notice is the clouds getting darker and darker in the sky. Uh, this is a really cool view as well. These guys are very lucky after about five minutes That is when rain and fog as well as wind start getting stronger and stronger which takes a total of five minutes as well And then after all of that is when the tornadoes start to come out and there are four of them that'll appear about this far from each other just like this and they'll all pass across this map together which gives everybody on the server a chance to see the tornadoes oh and they also shoot out rockets while that is all happening there will also be a plane that will crash from the sky The funniest thing is that these changes are happening live and no one has noticed them. No one is realizing how the clouds are getting darker and darker, which is so funny. Well, they're not getting darker. There's just more and more clouds being added to the sky. Once people hear the rain, then they'll know. 100%. Also, for whatever reason, my frame rate is unbelievably bad. I think that is due to my settings being maxed out. I should probably change something to make it a little bit better, but we'll be fine. The rain is just about to begin here in a few seconds. I think this is when people are going to realize something isn't right. And I'm uh, quite nervous because there's quite a few people on the server and they are going to freak out quite a bit. And this is all going to happen in around 40 seconds from now. And also nighttime is going to last throughout the entirety of the event, which is going to make the tornadoes appear a lot more. But yeah, as well as everything I had just mentioned, uh oh, someone already knows. There comes the rain. People are now thinking that it's a flood, which is hilarious, but it is not a flood. They're going to be expecting a flood and it's going to be totally different. Look at these guys, dude. I'm not repeating the same video. This is a totally different situation. A way crazier one, in fact. Um, although the flood is a really cool thing, I'll admit. Oh, and I forgot to mention, as well as everything I just said, there will also be meteors falling from the sky all around the map, making a bunch of explosive sounds, which is crazy. This looks so cool with the clouds and everything. I wish this was an actual thing in Rust. Don't you guys agree? I mean, it would probably not be great for the performance, but once there's that graphics overhaul, I don't know. It would be really cool to have events like these. Um, I mean, just simple rain like this would be a lot of fun, and it doesn't really affect performance as far as I can tell. But yeah, again, people are thinking that it's a flood. It is not. 
It is not a flood. It is gonna be way more intense. The flood is coming. Flood, what flood? Oh God, if only these guys knew what was coming. Oh, here they come, the tornadoes. Here they come. I don't think people have heard them yet. I can't wait, dude. Oh my God, here it comes. But yeah, I don't think anyone has seen the tornadoes yet. Look at this, dude. Imagine you're walking around in rust and all of a sudden you come across this. It is a crazy sight. A tornado of rockets. Okay, so someone saw it. There's also a plane that's going to crash. We might miss it, unfortunately, since, you know, this is a big map. Uh, but something else we're going to have to do here is add those meteors. There they are, though. Two tornadoes. This one's going through outposts, I think. Or this is not outposts at all. This is the uh, excavator or whatever. Dude, it just looks so insane. All right, meteors are coming in as well. You guys might not be able to see it, but uh, you can definitely hear rockets go off everywhere right now. Uh, we just saw a rocket land right there, actually. Oh, and there's the plane that's crashing. I don't know if anyone's noticed it, but it just went down. It actually hit this uh, power line, I think. No, it just hit the tree and crashed. That is so funny. I don't think, I don't know if anyone noticed it, but yeah, there's the tornadoes just passing by across the map. This would be just so terrifying to see though. If this was like an actual event, like look at this. It also shoots rockets, which is crazy. And there are four of these going across the entire map, so everybody gets to see it. Oh my god, dude, that is so scary. I don't like it when it does that. It makes such a good sound, too, when it comes close. But yeah, things are slowly starting to fade away, including the rain and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, as these go and fade out, that is when things start to uh, stop here. And uh, yeah, these people still think there's going to be a flood. Not today. I'm not doing a flood. But yeah, the event is about to end here uh, shortly as these tornadoes get to the water. And then they will uh, eventually just disappear. This is crazy, I agree. It is indeed crazy. But yeah, this is when they uh, go away. They just go into the water and disappear. Unlike real tornadoes. I don't think real tornadoes do this, uh, but they have to go one way or another. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I guess these guys could still see it if there's anybody on uh, oil rig. Actually, it might pass by oil rig. Here, I'm gonna, actually I am in vanish, so I'm not gonna get killed. But this is what it looks like to anybody that is on oil rig. But yeah, just as this all ends, that is when the sun starts to come up, which is really, really good. That was perfect timing. I didn't even test that. And that is officially where the event ends. It is now completely clear out. No more rain, no more wind, none of that stuff. Right as daytime begins. Awesome.